Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add audio, video, links, or pictures to an assignment on It's Learning. You might be using an assignment during e-learning lessons, and your teacher might ask you to turn in your work there. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you're in the correct course. Get to your course from the Courses drop-down menu. When you're there, your teacher might have set up a content block that has a link to your assignment. Or you can click on Resources and find your assignment from there, like I've done so on my screen. Here's a sample assignment. To begin answering the assignment, I'll click Answer Assignment. Here's the text box where I can add my answer. If I want to add a text, I'll just start typing on my device. Notice, there are a few buttons here. I can change my font and my size, bold, italicize, or underline. More options gives me even more ways I can answer this assignment and add in more exciting features. I'm curious about what one of these buttons does. If I hover my cursor over the button, it will explain to me what it does. I click image, I can add an image onto my answer. I'll click upload and insert, choose file, and then select a file on my device. If I'm on a Chromebook, it will pull up pictures from my Google Drive. I'll add this picture. And then I'll click upload and insert. It might take it a second to load. Now I've added my picture. If I'd like to add an audio recording, audio recording is right beside the picture button. I'll click audio recording. The first time I use this, I'll need to give It's Learning permission to use my microphone. I might get a button that pops up. I'll click record audio. If It's Learning asks for my permission to use my microphone, I'll need to click allow. That notification will pop up here in the top corner of my screen. Whenever I'm ready to start recording, I'll click record. I'll get a countdown. And now I know that my recording is happening because I can see the lines and it's telling me time is going. A recording has to at least be 10 seconds long before I can stop recording. I can record up to 20 minutes. When I'm finished, I'll click stop. I'll have to wait for my recording to load. When I'm finished uploading, I'll have the option to give my recording a name. Whenever I'm finished giving it a name, I'll click Save. Now my recording is there and my teacher can play it when they want to grade and review my response. I can also add a video recording if I would like. The video recording is beside the audio recording button. And again, I can hover over the answer to see what it means. If I click Video Recording, a window will appear. I can record a video here. Or I can upload one that maybe I've already made on my computer. If I want to start recording, I'll click Record. Again, I'll be prompted to give its learning permission to use my microphone and camera. I'll start recording, I'll click Stop, and it will upload just like my audio recording did. If I want to add a file, such as a file saved on my Chromebook, my laptop, or in my Google Drive, I'll click Add Files. I'll click Files if it's something that is saved on my device. If I want to grab something from my Google Drive, I'll click Google Drive. It'll ask me to pick what Google Drive account I would like to use this from. If you notice a Google account pops up that's not your personal account, make sure you contact your teacher so they can fix it. I find a Google Drive file that I'd like to use. I'll click Select. It might take a second to load. Whenever it's finished loading, I have all my answer materials on here that I would like to submit. I'll click Submit. When it has finished submitting my answer and finished loading, 
I'll see that my work has been turned in and now my teacher can grade it and give me feedback on how I performed. Notice, you have many different file types like what I did here. It might take it a few minutes to load. Make sure you don't close your browser. And now I can see my answer is there. If I am here on this assignment and have turned in my work before the deadline, I still have the opportunity to edit or submit or change my answer. I can also delete my answer. After a deadline has passed, depending on the way your teacher has set up your course, you might not be able to change your response.